okay, it is Tuesday. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And I figure, is it is like, should I tell you the story of John and I for like a Valentine's Day vlog? Like what I just got. John just gave these to me. <laughs> He's so nice. He gave me a candle. And he always gives handwritten cards. I've gotten three handwritten cards from him, which is so kind. But I thought for Valentine's Day, should I tell you the story of how John and I met? Would that be kind of fun? Should I do it? Okay, let's do it. Let's okay, do it. I might input some, there's that crazy hair. I might input some like pictures and video of different things that I've, um, I haven't shared yet. Um, but so this is going to be a lot of Sarah talking. So I hope you enjoy that. Okay. John and I, so we have been seeing each other since November. Our first date was November 17th and how it came to be is really sort of funny. So, you know, I was a swim coach and we went to state state was Friday and Saturday. So we stayed overnight Friday night. Well, Friday, um, our swimmer swam. It was super fun. We went out for supper. There was a group of us. We went and we played some fun Walmart games and stuff. And then uh, we went to the hotel. It was a great night. The middle of the night, I woke up sick. Like sick. Throwing up sick. I have never... Well, no. Okay, I shouldn't know. That's not true. It has been a very, very, very long time since I've thrown up. I mean, I don't even remember the last time. And here I was in a different town a couple hours away in a hotel sick. Sick. Um, I could not go to the swim meet the next day. Thankfully, Kelly, she was there, took the kids to the swim meet, and then she said, I'll come back and pick you up and um, take you home because we were in like a van. And I was in no shape to be, I feel like I'm blurry. I was in no shape to be not only around those kids and get them sick, but I was in no shape to like driving a van for hours. I was a mess, you guys, a mess. So I reserved a hotel at the hotel for another night and they left me. Kelly was good and kind and she brought me like some Gatorade and 7-Up and stuff. But Saturday night, I don't know what time, it was dark. Um, I started feeling a little bit better and I was laying there thinking how I was all alone, like I was slightly hungry but there, I like, I had no vehicle. So even if I felt well enough, I couldn't leave. I had Gatorade and ice for supper, which is fine. But I was like, I was all alone in this hotel room. Nobody. I mean, I'm a single person. <laughs> My kids are awesome. Ava the next day came and picked me up, but like they have their own lives. I mean, they're not adults or anything, but I was laying there feeling completely and totally alone. And in my feverish, flu-induced state, I signed up for Facebook dating. <laughs> Facebook dating is free. And if you are single, I mean, honestly, it's a great way. And it's a great way for you to just kind of get an idea of what online dating is like um, for free. So I got on Facebook dating. This was on Saturday night, right? Yes. Sunday, Sunday, um, Ava came, picked me up, went home, whatever. Tuesday, um, I connect with John and he's from Atomwa. We have kids around the same age and we start, you start talking over like, um, the Facebook app. Like you don't give your number or anything right away. So Saturday I'm sick, barfing my guts up, get on Facebook dating. I told you this would be long, three minutes. Tuesday, we connect on Facebook. We're chit-chatting. And we plan for a date. So our first date was on Friday, um, November 17th, um, at the Vine. And I had told John that um, I like sunsets and amazing skies and stuff. So he planned where we would have coffee at the Vine after work. And then he brought lawn chairs and a sleeping bag to cover up with and we went to the park and we watched the sunset I mean literally can you really I mean, um and there was a huge shooting star in the sky and then I mean that was it that was the end of our day he oh he brought keto snacks he's keto he's keto like I am 
And then um, that same night, you know, I text thanks so much. You know, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. And then he was like, do you want to meet again? And so we've been hanging out ever since. And we have a lot of fun. We've done a lot of different stuff. Um, a couple weeks after we met um, his daughter, she goes to Luther. Yes. Luther, she plays the double bass, which is a super tall. And she had a concert. He invited me to come and watch the concert. Fun. And let's see. What are some other fun things? Um, at, oh, I'll have to show you. At Christmas, he made me, like he bought chunks of wood and he made me a rolling pin. in this cutest book of like different little pictures and stuff of things that we had done. Um, let's see. We went to adult prom, obviously. He's come to swim meets. He, I had a swim meet on Monday and he surprised me and came to the swim meet. Um, yeah, so we've been like dating for three-ish months now and we have a lot of fun. He's really nice. And a couple weeks ago, I was like, how do you feel about being in my vlog? And he was like, yeah, that's, yeah, I'll keep in your vlog. So he's probably gonna be in the vlogs a lot more. Tomorrow for Valentine's Day, we are going to a concert, um, string quartet, I believe, but it's so cool because it's like candle lit. Like there's gonna be tons of candles. I, I probably won't record a whole lot, but I gotta record a little bit. And um, it's in Des Moines. So I got the tickets for that. And then he made a reservation for us to eat a French restaurant. And he got a bottle of French wine that we'll drink too. Um, so yeah, I, it's really exciting. It's really fun. It's uh, nice to have someone to spend time with and conversations with and laugh with and hang out with. So it's been really nice. So yeah, that's the story. It was funny because uh, at adult prom, we were talking to people and they were asking how we met and stuff. And when we were telling the story, I'd said how, and I, I, it's true, I have, I've told John how, I'm so glad, I feel like I'm always messing with my face. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that I got the flu. I'm so glad that I got the flu. If I would not have gotten the flu that night in that hotel room, I never would have gotten on Facebook dating and I never would have connected with John. So, I'm really thankful. <laughs> I'm really thankful that I got the flu. And I'm really thankful that I get to spend time with John. He's really it's good. Wednesday. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm bringing my cape to school with me because John and I are going to that concert. How do I do this? John and I. Hold on, John you guys. and I are going to that concert that candle concert tonight and dinner in Des Moines. So we have to zoomy zoom right after work. So I'm gonna go right from work to his house and change and then we're taking off from his place. So that's exciting, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you feel loved and I'm wearing pink today. And it's Wednesday as well. Do you know what that means? I don't know if it's gonna be a weekly thing, but at least the last two weeks, it's Wednesday crunchy icing gator. I cut my own hair this morning. There was a chunk of hair down here that was like sticking out funkadilly. So I just took some scissors and I, <laughs> I don't know if I made it worse or better, but what I do know is at least from my angle, I don't see that funky, chunky. Ugh, <gasps> about ran over my trash can again, deja vu, funky chunky part of that hair that was bugging me. Okay, bye you guys. Hey. I will, the next time I see you, maybe we'll be driving to Des Moines. I don't know. We'll see. Bye. We're on the road. We're heading to our candle concert. John Pack snacks. Look at those.
smart. John just parallel parked. <laughs> yeah. He just parallel parked like a pro. In this giant truck. And I wore these crazy ass heels and I almost fell off someone. I had a job, I was 15. Um, and I had to park golf carts and we backed them up the whole way. So that's where you learned to be yeah. an excellent driver. Well, Philly's going in reverse. I don't remember parks. Oh, nice. Did you have a program on each table? It was awesome. Did you like it, John? I totally liked it. It was, it was hot in there. So I was sweating. Close. It was so close. I'm surprised nobody talked to the musicians. They were like right there. Yeah. They were right there. Like you almost felt bad you didn't talk to them. They yes. were that close. Yeah, like tell them. That was amazing. <laughs> so good. John is taking me to this French restaurant. How do you pronounce it? Django? Django. Yeah. Django. And John got some wine to bring in. You got a French wine, right? French wine from Fairfield. Yes. And that, I mean, that wine place was fancy. It was fancy. I did not feel like I fit in there. Yeah, me neither. You acted cool as a cucumber. <laughs> I was like, ah. Doing. <laughs> John just went for it. I'm gonna take a picture now. 